David Coburn is next for the FDD. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, very interesting discourse, but something most of us have known for many, many years. This is hardly news to many of us. Uh, anybody in the business community knows about that. Uh, well, what I would like to ask the journalists, and it, it, this is a, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Um, I'd like to see, obviously, uh, money laundering and such like uh, opened up by whistleblowers. But uh, whistleblowing well, can be legitimate, but every, if every disgruntled Tom, Dick and Harriet in any bank anywhere decides on their own recognizance to hand out confidential, uh, confidential uh, information, uh, the entire banking structure and just everything else would fall apart. So there, obviously there has to be an element of risk not only for the whistleblowers but for the journalists. And I'd like to know their, your feelings on this. Uh, so there must be risk on that. Of course, you could always give them a job in the EU. There are plenty of things they're going to whistle blow in this place, so you'd all have a jolly good chat, a well behaving under your desks, I should think. But I'd like to know what you think is a way of dealing with this, because obviously there has to be some sort of financial protection. Yeah, vielen Dank. Wer möchte antworten, Frau Thank you, Ms. Stein, to reply. It's not about uh, legalizing betrayal of secrecy. Take the Luxembourg example. It was only after the LuxLeaks that three people were prosecuted, despite the fact that they had acted in the public interest, in the interest of every European citizen. And what they had revealed was of interest, of public interest, to every European taxpayer. That makes clear, that case made clear that it was absurd to put them before the court. Thank you. It's very simple. It's public interest, full stop. It's public interest. The European Court of Human Rights has had several cases in which it exactly points at this important element. So it's not the case that just any secret can be thrown on the streets. But if there's a public interest involved, as I think was very clearly the case with LuxLeaks, with Panama Papers, etc., then uh, these kind of exceptions should be possible. No, nothing from Mr. Strotzik. Mr. Coburn. Supplementary. Yeah, please. Yeah, that was very interesting. Thank you for that. Uh, what I also ask, do you think this is, I mean, what I'm concerned is the European Union is going to use this as an excuse to expand its interests all over the place. Um, well, of course. <laughs> of course we're leaving, thanks to me, madam, not you. <laughs> yes, um, we are leaving, of course. Uh, but the thing is, it's sticking their nose into various countries. Shouldn't, shouldn't those sovereign nations get their act together and deal with it in, internally, rather than just leave it to some sort of European body to start sort of more and more fingers and more and more pies? Perhaps uh, we'll have to... Um, put our finger in the former British colonial pie. Anyone? Well, it's, now, uh, it's now the fifth league I think we have. Offshore leagues, um, uh, Lux leagues, Swiss leagues, China leagues, Panama Papers, and when we came after the first league already to tell everybody that they, look should, that they should look for themselves and nobody should meddling in, we wouldn't be here actually. Every league shows us new cases and it shows that this is abundantly important to regulate, even if one is in general against it. Uh, but if we do not regulate the offshore industry, that's going to be the wild, the wild west. And I just want to stress that we are not lo looking at, at taxes here only. Uh, we, we found uh, uh, child abuse, we found weapon steel, we found terrorists or everything. So we, we're not talking about some small crimes. We're talking about big crimes here, so um, I think there is, there is the need for, uh, for regulation. Thank you. Herr Coburn. Mr. Coburn, you have 30 seconds, sorry. No, Ms. Knus first. Uh, very, very shortly about the, uh, your comments, uh, your, your questions about the leaks. I mean, the public interest, as Julia said, and, and Christoph, that's, the, that's, that's sort of the key word, and that's why it's so important for investigative journalists to go through the leaked material. You, can, you can't just 
dump the leak into the internet. I mean, that's something you have to, to think of if, if you want to have an EU leak site. What are you going to do with that? Who is going to, to go through the material and, and investigate it? That, that's, it's important to find the public interest stories and not just to dump it there. Yeah, vielen Dank. Thank you very much.